Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there is a span AB. Also, there is an overhanging span BC. In the span AB, there is a point load 50 kN acting on the center. In the overhanging span BC, there is a uniformly distributed load 20 kN per meter. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the point B, there is a hinged support. Span AB is 4 meter long. The overhanging span BC is 3 meter long. In this analysis, we have to find three moments. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be a moment. Here, the moment is MAB. In the joints, there will be two moments. In the joint B, there are two moments, MBA and MBC. So, totally, we have to find three moments. Also, we have to find two vertical reactions, RA and RB. In the slope deflection method, we have to see the number of supports in which slope can occur. Let us see the conditions. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. In the hinged support, there will be slope. In the roller support also, there will be slope. In the point B, there is a hinged support. So, the number of supports in which a slope can occur is equal to 1. In the point B, there is theta B. To calculate theta B, we need one equilibrium equation. We know that in the joints, the summation of the moments will be 0. In the joint B, there are two moments, MBA and MBC. When we add them, it will be 0. BC is overhanging. So, we can easily calculate MBC. For that, we have to calculate the moment in the point B from the point C. In BC, there is UDL, 20 kN per meter. The distance is 3 meter. Now, let's calculate the moment in the point B from the point C. For that, we have to multiply the UDL with the distance and a distance by 2. We know that in the case of UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2 for getting the moment. Since MBC is acting in the anti-clockwise direction, we have to add a negative sign with the load. Because of that, we are getting a negative moment. Here, let us apply the value of MBC. Then, let us take it on the right side. In this way, we can calculate MBA, which is equal to 90 kN meter. This is our equilibrium equation. Now we are going to find the fixed end moments. No need to make the fixed end moments in the overhanging span. Only make the fixed end moments in the span AB. In the span AB, there is a point load 50 kN acting on the center. The formulas to calculate the fixed end moments are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. W is 50, L is 4. When we apply the values, we are getting MFAB and MFBA. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations. No need to make the slope deflection equations in the span BC because it is overhanging. Only make the slope deflection equations in the span AB. In the equations, let us apply the fixed end moments. 
length of AB is 4 meter. Let us apply that. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So, theta A will be 0. Here, we can make the equilibrium equation. We know the value of MBA, that is 90. Let us apply that. Then, let us take this 25 on the left side. It will become negative. Finally, we have got Ea theta B, which is equal to 65. Let us apply the value of Ea theta B in the equation 1. When we do that, we are getting MAB, which is equal to 7.5 kN meter. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the movements. We have already calculated MBA and MBC just before we have calculated MAB. For MAB, we got a positive value that means it is acting in the clockwise direction. We assumed that MAB would be acting in the anticlockwise direction but our assumption is wrong. MAB is acting in the clockwise direction. Now let us calculate the reactions. Let us take the whole beam together and calculate the vertical reactions. When we take the whole beam together, we do not have to consider MBA and MBC because they will get eliminated. So we have to only consider MAB which is acting in the clockwise direction. First, I am going to calculate RA. For that, I am going to take moment about B. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. RA is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction. So, it will be positive and the distance is 4. So, 4 RA. The point load 50 kN is acting towards the point B in the anticlockwise direction. So, it will be negative and the distance is 2. So, minus 50 into 2. This UDL is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction. So, it will be positive. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. This movement is acting in the clockwise direction, so it is positive. Finally, we are getting Ra, which is equal to 0.625 kN. Now, to calculate Rb, let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0. Ra and Rb are acting upwards, so both of them will be positive. The point load 50 kN and UDL 20 kN per meter are acting downwards. So, both of them will be negative. We have already calculated RA. Let us apply that. Finally, we are getting RB. Now, we are going to draw the shear force diagram. Before drawing the diagram, let us calculate the shear force values. I am going to start from the point A and move towards the point C. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using that, we can calculate the shear force values. Using the values, we can make the shear force diagram. Now, let's make the free movement diagram. We have to make the free movement diagram only in the span AB. No need to make the diagram in the overhanging span BC. For making the free movement diagram, we have to consider the span AB as a simply supported beam and calculate the movement. In the span AB, there is a point load 50 kN acting on the center. The formula to calculate the maximum movement is WL upon 4. 
using the formula we are getting 50 kilo newton meter using the value we can make this diagram now let us see how to make the end moment diagram we have to use these end moments and draw the end moment diagram for MAB we got a positive value that means it is acting in the clockwise direction for MBA we got a positive value so it is also acting in the clockwise direction for MBC we got a negative value so it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction now we have to see the direction of the arrows this arrow indicates downwards so we have to mark this 7.5 below this line both of these arrows indicates upwards so we have to mark the point above the line if the end moment diagram comes above this line that will be negative if it comes below the line that will be positive now we can combine the free moment diagram and the end moment diagram so that we are getting the bending moment diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.